We've relied on them now more than ever. Frontline workers in hospitals working to save lives amid the COVID-19 pandemic. But that work is far from easy. The normal routines have changed and even the way they show empathy looks different. In this Rebound Kansas City series, we talk with several frontline workers pushing through the challenges while providing comfort to others. Tonight, I will introduce you to Becky Williams, a nurse on the COVID floor at KU Med. It's a bad day when a patient dies. It's a really, really bad day and you go home and you cry. Yeah, weeping may endure for a night. You have to get back up and just go for it again. But joy comes in the morning. <sighs> The stories of people surviving are my favorite stories ever. Problem is for Becky Williams, it's a daunting cycle with a lot of weeping. It was still just very, very hard um, mentally and emotionally. I've cried after tough shifts. Then I've cried too after talking to family members sometimes. This virus was pretty uh, mysterious for the first couple of months and it still is pretty mysterious now. I am a nurse at KU Medical Center on the COVID ICU. I'm about to head into work. It's about 6:45 a.m. The hospital surgical unit was converted into the COVID ICU in March and Williams has been there every step of the way. It's kind of strange because our patients are here on our unit with us for at least two weeks most of the time if they're pretty sick. I treat them all like they're my family. I treat every single patient like it was, you know, my my dad or my grandma. And that is why. Hearing them cry and knowing that they can't be there with their family, um, that that breaks me down too. And I only hope that they can, can continue to get better from here because we just care about them so much. Every day she's decked out in PPE from head to toe. Sometimes she's one of the few people a patient will see in an entire day. Many are allowed only one personal visit per day, if at all. Other patients are having to catch up with loved ones via video chat. And as Williams is learning, not everyone makes it out of the hospital. We had a patient who just came in um, just a couple of weeks ago. When I saw him come up, I my heart broke because I I was so scared for him. And um, I would go by his room every day just to say hi, tell him that we're thinking of him and that, you know, we all care for him so much. And every single nurse on my unit just adored him and just fought like like hell for him and it wasn't enough and when I learned that he had died I broke down in tears you just ask yourself gosh like <laughs> what did we miss like what what could we have done differently and um a lot of times there's no answer to that and that's probably the toughest part you know these questions linger as williams and other health leaders expect a second possibly even third wave in addition to all the safety precautions she's urging everyone to focus not just on the death rate but those who survive COVID 19 and the long-term effects this ravages your body and it continues to ravage your body for sometimes uh months on end and most likely years we have patients who were able to you know, walk around and very just be very independent prior to this. Mm -hmm. And now they're in a nursing home for life. Becky Williams, one of many frontline workers we've talked with as part of this series. You can read them all at KSHB.com slash rebound. Just click on managing the pressure.